Today in the Sports Century, we go over a college football game preview and prediction in the 2021 college football playoff national championship game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Alabama Crimson Tide, two teams that have had outstanding seasons as Alabama is 12-0 coming into this game and Ohio State is 7-0. Both teams won their respective conferences and both teams are coming off of convincing wins in their semifinal matchups. And so it should make for a great matchup to finish out this 2023-21 college football season. We're going to go over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today, starting out with your team trends. Last game for Ohio State, they beat Clemson 49-28 in the Sugar Bowl, which was quite a matchup there. Of course, Ohio State was uh, a pretty heavy underdog in that matchup. Many people expected Clemson to win that matchup, but Ohio State had a huge upset win, and they blew out Clemson. I mean, Clemson did not stand a chance really after the first quarter. 49-28 was the final score there. As for Alabama, they beat Notre Dame 31-14. Very convincing win there for Alabama as well, considering Notre Dame has been a pretty great team all season as well. I mean, the Notre Dame is definitely a team that I definitely think uh, is one of the best in the nation. And for Alabama to beat them 31-14 was a pretty convincing win. As for winning streaks for both these teams, Ohio State, of course, has got a seven-game winning streak. And Alabama has got a 12-game winning streak, obviously, since both teams are still undefeated. Seems to be on Monday, January 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time in Miami. Spread currently says Alabama by 7.5. ESPN FBI is also going with the Crimson Tide here, 63%. And lastly, your Vegas prediction is also going with Alabama 35-28 to 28 being the current projected final score. So Alabama is favored here in pretty much all three areas by a convincing margin as well. I mean, the 7.5 spread is actually pretty heavy towards the Alabama side, I would say, in this game, considering Ohio State uh, completely blew out Clemson in their last game. But really, I mean, the ESPN FBI is pretty reasonable here with the 63%. Like, I definitely think Alabama should be favored in this game considering how much more convincing uh, Alabama has been this season if you're looking at wins but I mean I definitely think that Alabama I mean Alabama and Ohio State are pretty much even here in my opinion I mean Ohio State's coming off of the best win any team has had this entire season and you're going up against an Alabama team that is also great but I definitely think both teams here uh, should have pretty much an even spread coming into this matchup here's your stack of pressure for this game Ohio State's got 43 points per game 21 points allowed you got 272 pass yards 272 rush yards per game on average this season. Then for yards allowed, they got 261 passing and then 96 rushing. This Ohio State rush defense especially has been outstanding this season, only allowing 96 rush yards per game. That is definitely going to be something that's going to be tough for Alabama in this game is trying to rush against an Ohio State offensive line like this. Like Najee Harris, he's a great running back for Alabama, but he's going to be a tough time, I think, in this game rushing up against um, Ohio State's rush defense, which, I mean, we kind of saw that with Travis Etienne with Clemson uh, when they faced Ohio State last week. But as for Ohio State here, I mean, they got 272 passers per game. That kind of goes on the Justin Fields part there. Of course, Justin Fields has had an outstanding season, putting up nearly 2,000 yards this year with 21 touchdowns and six interceptions. Let me remind you too, those stats do not look very good considering what point we're at in the season. But really, Ohio State has only played seven games and Justin Fields has put up nearly 2,000 yards on the season, which is actually really good out of a quarterback in his level. But as for Alabama here, they have 48 points per game, 19 points allowed. They have 349 passers per game, so that really shows um, how well Mac Jones has played for this team this season. They got 185 rushers per game as well. As for yards allowed, they got 243 passing and then 107 rushing. So really, both teams are pretty similar as far as it goes with um, statistics. I mean, if you look at Ohio State here, they put up over 40 points per game. Same thing for Alabama. They put up nearly 50 points per game this season, which is outstanding out of an SEC team. I mean, usually the SEC has been more of a low-scoring conference, but Alabama has completely defied the odds there, putting up nearly 50 points per game this season. It's been an outstanding year uh, for Alabama for sure. And if you look at both teams down the stretch, I mean, Ohio State, even though Ohio State has not had as many convincing wins, I mean, they're kind of at the even level, I think, of, I think of Alabama right now, considering Ohio State had as big of a blowout win as they did against Clemson on New Year's Day. So really, I mean, Alabama here, I mean, they've blown out Auburn. They've blown out LSU, Arkansas. I mean, they did a close game against Florida, but Florida's a pretty good team. And then they beat Notre Dame pretty convincingly as well. I mean, if you look at Alabama at the beginning of the season, I mean, they did blow out Texas A&M, which Texas A&M right now is definitely, I mean, they were, they were ranked fifth. Uh, going into the bowl season. So really, Alabama has had a great season as far as um, getting convincing wins is concerned. But for Ohio State here, I mean, Ohio State's going to really need uh, to have a huge performance in this game. Like, he had a huge performance against Clemson. Ohio State somehow is going to have to play even better than they did um, against Clemson in this matchup. Because so Alabama, I think, is a couple of steps better than Clemson at this point. I mean, Alabama this season has been just as convincing as any team 
I've ever seen really in the past ticket especially. But here are some key points for this one. Ohio State is definitely coming off of the most dominant performance this season out of any team in the college football world. I mean, if you look at this entire season, we've seen a lot of dominant wins and a lot of great performances. But Ohio State, I mean, they absolutely destroyed Clemson. 49-20 to was the final score there. And Ohio State honestly was close to getting even more points up on Clemson. So, I mean... Really, Clemson being as good of a team as they are with Trevor Lawrence, like, I did not really expect, like, I expected, I actually predicted Ohio State to win that game, but I definitely think Ohio State um, is capable of, I mean, if you look at that team and how they played against Clemson, if they can play the same way against Clemson, um, or if they if they can play the same way against Alabama that like they did against Clemson, like, Ohio State genuinely does have a chance in this game. Like, I mean, they played as good as I've ever seen any team play in the past few years in that match. Like, that was an outstanding performance out of Ohio State and Justin Fields in general. But Alabama has definitely been the most consistent team this season. Like, if you look at both teams here, Ohio State has allowed 27 points to Rutgers. They allowed 35 points to Indiana. But Alabama, on the flip side, has really not done that. I mean, they've dominated pretty much every team that they've played except for Florida. So, I mean, if you look at Alabama here, they've definitely been the most consistently uh, great and most consistently dominant team this entire season. But really, I mean, if you look at Ohio State here, Ohio State is on a roll. I mean, they completely destroyed Clemson and they're probably going to ride that wave into this matchup, I would assume. How would each team win this matchup, though? I think for Alabama, Alabama's probably going to get off to a fast start, I think. I mean, for Ohio State, coming off of as emotional and as uh, as as physically taxing of a game as it was against Clemson, I mean, we saw Justin Fields and how beat up he was after that game. It might be kind of a rough start for Ohio State. I do think we'll see Alabama kind of get off to a fast start there, but I think Ohio State, once again, like if they can just hang on to Alabama, they could possibly get a win. Um, later on in the game and I definitely think Ohio State once again is capable of winning this game many of you guys are going to say Alabama is just too good of a team and, I, and most of you guys are probably going to think that Alabama should be uh, the winner of this matchup but I think Ohio State really does have a chance here I mean once again if we see Ohio State play the same way uh, or even better um, in this matchup as they did with Clemson I definitely think Ohio State has a chance and speaking of which, I'm actually going to go with Ohio State to win this game. I think the Buckeyes are going to be your winner of the 2021 National Championship. We're going to see Ohio State come out, and it's going to be kind of a fast start out of Alabama. I think we're going to see Alabama go up possibly 14-0 at the start of the game, and it's going to look like Alabama's going to run away with it. But I think Ohio State is going to slowly creep back. We're going to see a tie game at halftime, 17-17. But in the final, Ohio State's going to win it off of a field goal. 37 to 34 is going to be your final score. Probability is going to be 60% towards the Buckeyes as well. So I'm going to give Ohio State the win here. I mean, once again, this was as tough of a game to predict as I've ever done. I mean, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say that right now. I mean, Alabama is as good of a team as we've seen in recent history. And Ohio State coming off a win like that against Clemson, and that's kind of been the trend in the college football playoff is whichever team plays better in the college football playoff semifinal games is usually the one that wins the playoff. And I mean, if you look, if you look at both performances here, Ohio State beat Clemson 49 to 28, Alabama beat Notre Dame 31 to 14, and really, I mean, Ohio State's performance was much more impressive to me than Alabama's. Even though Alabama had a convincing win over Notre Dame, Ohio State played as good as I've ever seen any team play this entire season against Clemson. And so I think Ohio State, with that being said, is going to be the favorite in this game for me. I'm going to go with Ohio State, 60% chance once again. Of them winning this game so i'm definitely not very certain about ohio state winning this game but i definitely think the bucks are capable and i definitely think they're going to get the upset win here over alabama but let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game score predictions all of that let me know down below i appreciate you guys all watching this video if you enjoyed it slap a like on it subscribe as well as it would be very appreciated but that being said there are my preview for this one let me know your thoughts in the comments below once again appreciate you guys all sticking around i'll see you guys all later